shifting to a more secular lifestyle. 30% of adults say they don't have any religious affiliation. That non-denomination is a growing trend in people who seem less interested in organized religion. Bishop Robert Barron joins me now to talk about this. Your Excellency, thanks for being here. Merry Christmas. Good morning, Brad. Let me ask you, are you concerned about these numbers? Yeah, I'm very concerned. We've been following for a long time. And you look at stats maybe from five, ten years ago, it was getting up past 20% to like 24, 25. This latest survey showing, showing 30% is staggering. Uh, that number was about 3% when I was a kid back in the 1970s. So during the last few decades, it's been a precipitous increase in um, disaffiliation. So yeah, I, I would say as a churchman, it's our number one concern. Yeah, you look at uh, some of these polls that deal with young people, 18 to 29, religious affiliation, Christians at 52%, yeah. none at 43%, other religions at 4%. You wrote an op-ed uh, entitled, What the Christ Child Says to the Nuns. What was the message in that? Well, it said several things there. Uh, one is this whole question of religion and science. Uh, when you look at the polls, a major reason people disaffiliate, they say religion is irrational, religion is opposed to science. And there are a lot of reasons now for this problem. One is we tended to dumb down our own presentation of the faith, precisely at a time when the colleges and universities were consistently presenting a very materialist, secularist view of the world. That combination, I think, was deadly for a lot of people. Again, go back to the 1950s, most people in our culture, from the simplest to the uh, best educated, would have held a basically biblical view of things. But that thing has changed so dramatically in the last 50 years, it's a combination of those those two things. The, the point I was making with the, with the Christ child there is, is the, the strange claim of the Christian church is that God becomes a child, God becomes one of us, it means that God is not one being in the world competing with nature. God is not one cause among many, but God rather is the reason why there's anything at all. And it's that being who's non-competitive with us, with nature, with the universe. And so if we look deeply at the truth of Christmas, we find this transcendent and non-competitive God. And that's, I think, the source of, of solving a lot of this problem of the conflict of science and religion. Yeah, and quickly, uh, Christmas season, the holiday season for different faiths, it is kind of the best foot forward to get some of these nuns to something. Is that true? Yeah, and, and part of it, I think, is the beauty of Christmas. Um, I think of, of you know, Bono, the lead singer to U2, said he just sees the poetic appropriateness. Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to add to that a little bit. So the thing is, another good point is when you see those numbers when they said 18 to 29 because you got to think about the future okay and things like that when you're thinking about the world that you are living in and are about to be living in 18 to 29 only 52 percent consider themselves christians now the thing is that's a little over half but with that said you got to think a lot of the younger people don't subscribe to Christianity the same way that some of the older generations did. Um, a lot of people who even still would consider themselves, especially in that age range, but it's even changing for a lot of older people, like their view of Christianity and their interpretation of it and things like that is changing. So really that's an even bigger number or it's it's a smaller number when you think of like traditional Christian Christians. You know what I mean? Like evangelical or Catholic. You know what I mean? Because a lot of those people are changing their views and their interpretations and ways of deciphering. You know what I mean? The message of the Most High or God, as a lot of people would call them, or Christ. Okay? So, really that number is smaller when you think of like... In, in the 18 to 29, when you think about the traditional, like like I said, evangelical or Catholic interpretations and, and institutions and ways of thinking. And it's also showing how the institution of religion, you know what I mean, is, is falling. Not necessarily 
the world going to hell in the sense of nobody believes in God anymore. Nobody believes in, in Christ and things like that. But it's just the understanding of God, the understanding of Christ is changing. You know what I mean? And like he like he was saying, he did make some good points that I like about like the worldview of religion itself. In so many words, I'm paraphrasing. He was kind of saying that the worldview of religion is changing. This is more religion being taken out of things and more um, more so the following of Christ and his message. You know what I mean? As opposed to just religion as the institution. It, there's nothing what Christ said, create a religion called Christianity, nothing like that. This is not an attack on religion or anything like that. It's the truth. There's nothing man created religion. You see what I mean? The Bible is a book. Even if you just want to subscribe to the Bible or whatever, uh, the Bible is just a book. It's nothing in it that says create a religion called Christianity, if that makes sense. Um, so a lot of the the stuff that comes along with the religious institutions is coming down, which it, if, if you really are a follower of Christ, then you can understand that and you can understand the times that we living in and why that's, that's happening. Okay. Um, all right, guys, peace.